Hi, good morning again. This is uh, Dr. Dennis Latuno here in Los Angeles, California, uh, saying good morning, good evening to the people in the Philippines. Again, this is my channel. I'm blogging today about uh, pneumonia. Uh, again, second part of this uh, blog would be I'll try to do my best again to uh, translate it in Tagalog, but of course, again, uh, it's hard to translate some medical terms uh, in our Tagalog language, okay? And mabuhay sa mga Pilipino. <laughs> okay, we'll discuss about pneumonia. Pneumonia is the leading cause of death worldwide. There's about 2.5 million people died in 2019 just from pneumonia alone. Uh, symptoms of pneumonia, of course, dry cough or a productive cup of whitish yellow phlegm, sometimes to greenish color. Of course, you're short of breath, you're having some fever, fatigue, and occasionally have chest pain, especially when you breathe. Uh, to diagnose pneumonia, of course, uh, the clinical presentation and the most commonly used is chest x-ray. Uh, you will see a lung infiltrate, either one or both sides of the lung. But, you know, in early cases, sometimes chest x-ray uh, is normal. But uh, if you do a CAT scan, you will see a definite uh, infiltrate on it. <clears throat> and then labs that we use are CBC, chemistry. We send for sputum culture, blood culture. And of course, now because of the advent of COVID, you also test for COVID-19 and also influenza in B and RSB. Uh, there are three most common types of pneumonia. First, first one is bacterial, and the most common bacterial pneumonia is strep pneumonia. Uh, the others are H. influenza, Moraxella catarralis, and the other is a typical bacteria, which is Legionella, Mycoplasma, Pneumonia, and Chlamydia. And then, of course, for viral, because of COVID, now we have COVID pneumonia, influenza A and B, RSB, rhinovirus, and many others. <clears throat> and number three is fungal pneumonia. I'm only discussing the most common here in, where I live in southwestern California. Uh, uh, USA, uh, it's uh, the Valley Fever, uh, commonly found here in Kern County, San Joaquin Valley, Mojave Desert. It's a fungal infection from the soil called co coccidiomycosis. Okay, the risk factor for pneumonia, of course, is advanced age, 65 and above, those with comorbid like condition like COPD, CHF, stroke, diabetes, immunocompromised, either from drugs or cancer, or uh, autoimmune disease, and of course, malnutrition. Uh, I'm going to discuss only the most common <coughs> uh, treatment for what we call the community-acquired pneumonia, which is outpatient, inpatient. And I'm not going to discuss about nosocomial pneumonia, which causes uh, which are the hospital-acquired pneumonia and the ventilator-acquired pneumonia. So for community-acquired pneumonia outpatient treatment, usually we start with, you know, ter there's a lot of third-generation cephalosporin right now that are available. And these are cefixim, septibutin, and cephodoxin. And also, yeah, those three are the new one, but since they're so new, it might not be covered by your insurance. So the traditional that we use are the doxycycline, acetromycin, levaquin, either amoxicillin or augmentin. <coughs> and there's also other new antibiotics uh, called omega cycline and lefamilin, but these are so new, I also not, might not be covered by insurance. 
For inpatient with no risk factor for MRSA or Pseudomonas, uh, usually we start with beta-lactam in combination with the macrolide, which is uh, rosepin or cepexine with uh, acetromycin. But if they have contraindication to acetromycin or macrolide, you can add instead doxycycline. And then if they're young and had no contraindication for fluoroquinolones, we can start them on Levaquin alone. Uh, special mention to uh, Pseudomonas pneumonia and MRSA. Pseudomonas, of course, we use uh, Sosin, Cipro, Levaquin, Cepixim, and Meropenem. For MRSA, we use uh, Bancomycin or Zybox. And special mention for aspiration pneumonia. And previously, there's a category called healthcare associated pneumonia, especially if the patient's coming from a convalescent home or group homes. But these are no longer used. Uh, but anyway, aspiration pneumonia, healthcare related pneumonia, now is treated like a community acquired pneumonia. All right. I hope you learned from this. Now I'm gonna try my best to do this in Tagalog. Okay, pneumonia or pulmonia, ang na number one cause of death worldwide, 2.5 million in 2019, ang mga namatay sa pneumonia. Ang mga simptoman nito ay nahirapan namin nga inuubo, either dry or may plema. Tapos uh, nangihina at minsan masakit yung dibdib. Um, to diagnose ang pneumonia, usually <coughs> chest x-ray. May makikita kang tinatawag naming infiltrate sa x-ray. Pero in, minsan walang makikita pero pag nag-cut scan, nakikita yung, yung abnormal sa lungs. Ang mga labs na ginagamit, usually CBC, <coughs> chemistry, sputum and blood culture but since uh, nasa COVID pandemic tayo, we are test for COVID and also influenza A and B. Uh, ang mga type ng pneumonia, of course cause number one is bacteria cause ba bacterial pneumonia uh, ang pinaka most common bacteria na kukos ay yung tinatawag naming strep pneumonia at yung pangiba H influenza, Moraxella, Cataralis, and yung mga atypical na tinatawag namin Legionella, Mycoplasma, and Chlamydia. Tapos number two, viral naman, of course yung coronavirus, influenza A and B, RSB, and rhinovirus. Ang mga risk factor <coughs> para sa pneumonia is pag matanda na, 65 and above, yung may congestive heart failure, may empyzema, may stroke, diabetes, yung mga immunocompromised, gawa ng cancer or autoimmune disease, tsaka yung mga malnourished. <clears throat> Ang treatment na ginagamit sa pneumonia is usually dalawang category, yung walang history ng MRSA or pseudomonas, so at tinatawag namin community acquired pneumonia, Ang antibiotic na palaging ginagamit ay yung third generation na cephalosporin. Mga uh, tatlo yung bago na ngayon na ginagamit. Uh, pero common ginagamit pa rin namin yung uh, Zipac or acetromycin, doxycycline, levaquin, amoxicillin, augmentin. Pagka na-admit sa hospital naman, ang ini-start namin pa sa community acquired pneumonia is yung Rosepin or Cepixim, Cepipime pala, plus uh, Acetromycin. Pero kung may contraindication sa, sa Erythromycin or Acetromycin, ang um, dinadag na, namin yung Doxycycline. Pero kung bata yung pasyente at wala namang ibang contraindication, pwede rin ang Levaquin. <coughs> Alright, so meron din tinatawag na pneumonia na tinatawag aspiration pneumonia yung <laughs> na aspirate yung mga bacteria galing sa lalamunan 
Ang treatment ngayon dito is para ding community acquired pneumonia. Usually hindi na namin kinukover yung anaerobic uh, bacteria. So, ang treatment ganun din, rosepin plus acetromycin or doxycycline. All right. May ikli lang yung topic natin pero very important itong pneumonia kasi itong leading cause of death sa buong mundo. Kaya kung may tanong kayo, just message me at kung mayroon kayong simptoma ng pneumonia, uh, pumunta kayo kagad sa inyong doktor at magpakita para magamot. Again, my blog regarding pneumonia is not gonna be complete. It's just the most common uh, pneumonia that I'm discussing and also I'm not going to discuss about <laughs> nosocomial pneumonia which is a uh, hospital acquired or ventilator acquired pneumonia alright have a nice day and again Dr. Latuno peace out